Okay, we're moving on to number 24 in our Thursday Star Review. We're approaching the end here. And in number 24, it says, The graph below shows the height of a baseball from the time it's thrown from the top of a building to the time it hits the ground. And the question is actually asking, how much time elapses while the baseball is 80 meters or more above the ground? So what you guys need to do in this case is you need to go to the height of 80 meters because it's asking for this height and we need to find the time period not just a particular amount or not just a particular point but a time period that is meaning that means a certain amount of seconds that pass by while the ball is 80 meters or above so 80 meters is right here and remember you need that for the second part too so what you need to do is you need to move from that 80 meters up there from the graph down to your time. So this would be one second. And at the end, it would be seven seconds. So that means between second one and second seven, the baseball was 80 meters or above. Now, we don't have the option between one and seven seconds. It actually tells you need to figure out how much time has elapsed. That means how much time has passed by while the ball is 80 meters or above. So we need to subtract seven minus one is six. And the only possible answer is D. Okay, let's move on to number 25. Number 25 says, the completion of a certain chemical reaction is expressed by the equation y equals 250 minus 5x minus x squared, where y is the number of seconds needed to complete the reaction and x is the temperature in degrees Celsius at which the reaction occurs. If the reaction is complete in 200 seconds, what is the temperature at which the reaction occurs? So this looks a little difficult, but actually it's not. The first thing or the first part that you need to know is your equation here. Okay. And the second part is, what is your x? So x represents the temperature in degrees Celsius. And the y represents mm, the number of seconds needed to complete this reaction. Now, it's giving you another piece of information that says, if the reaction is complete in 200 seconds, so what do you think we need to replace uh, 200 with? That's correct. We need to replace 200 with y. Well, rather, y with 200. So after 200 seconds, y represents number of seconds, we need to find out what the value of x would be. Well, let's see. Let's rewrite this. 200 equals 250 minus 5x minus x squared. There's two ways of approaching this problem. The first way you could do that is bringing the 200 over and you do that by subtracting 200 so minus 200 minus 200 and I get 0 250 minus 200 is 50 minus 5x minus x squared and then you can either use your graphing calculator and plug this into the uh, y equals and find out when y is equal to 0 what you get for x um, or you can plug in the individual values that are given to you. Eh, I'm going to choose C just for the heck of it because it looks easy. Let me see if that's actually true. So 50 minus 5 times 10 minus 10 squared. So 10 squared is 100. 5 times 10 is 50. And we have 50 left. 50 minus 50 is 0 minus 100 is negative 100. But that's not equal to 0. So C is not my answer. Let's go to A. Let's see what A will give us. So I'm plugging this in again. Okay, five times five is 25. Five times five is 25. And we have 50. So, oops, that's extra. So 50 minus 25 is 25, minus 25 is 0, so it looks like it could be A. Let's check the other answers just for the heck of it. Maybe I made a mistake calculating something. So now we're going to do um, uh, B. We're going to plug in 7 for X. Okay. 
And as you can see, this is definitely not going to give me zero. Uh, 50 minus 35 minus 49 is actually going to give me a negative number. So B is not an option. So now let's check D real quick. So for D, we're going to get 0 equals 50 minus 5 times 12 minus 12 squared. And again, 12 squared is 144. A 5 times 12 is 60, so negative 60 minus 144 is already more than 50. That's not an option either. So it's really indeed A. Now if you were to use the calculator and figure this out, let me just go to the calculator real quick. If I can find it. Here it is. So I need to put this equation into the calculator right here, which is 50 minus 5x minus x squared. Graph it. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look like the calculator is going to give you much, so let's take a look at the second one. Why do we have a second one? Oh, I forgot to delete this. Sorry, guys. Graph it. I might not even show up. So let's see if I do zoom standard, if it gives me an answer. That's more like it. So, as you can see, as you can see, the graph is crossing the x-axis at positive 5. It could possibly cr uh, cross it at a negative number also, but when we're dealing with um, time, we cannot go back in time, so we need to have a positive value, and our answers are not negative either. So the only vi viable option here is positive 5 for x, and that would be our a. Alrighty, last but not least, on this page we're working on number 28. And you are going to use your calculators again. It's asking which equation will produce the widest parabola when graphed. And one more time, when the number in front of x squared gets smaller, the graph becomes wider. And again, remember that we are ignoring the negative sign when we're talking about um, the coefficient in front of x squared and uh, comparing widest against smallest or widest against narrowest. So let's see. So we have 2x squared. This is a whole number. This is already out. It's not very wide. Then b says negative 6x squared. Remember, I'm going to ignore the negative sign. 6 is even greater than 2, so 6 cannot be an option either. So it is between negative 0 0.6 and 0 0.2. Well, let's see which of these is actually greater and which one is smaller. I would say the option is D, or the correct choice answer choice is D, but let's check this anyway. So I'm going to put in negative 0.6x, oh, negative 0.6x squared, and in my second line, 0.2x squared. Graph it. So that's the first one. Yep, and I was right. As you can tell, this one is the one that opens downward, but it's not very wide. This one actually opens up. That's our 0.2x squared, and that is a lot wider than this one. So the correct answer would actually be D.